You can't come down here, mate, until I come out. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're all okay. Um, how are you doing, you all right? We are in a little bit of a traffic jam as you might be able to see, getting out of Southampton. It's always a pain in the ass coming out of this road. This is Botley Road, B3033. And uh, yeah, rush hour traffic, it's just a nightmare. It's like a bottleneck, it just can't cope. So, that's what we're doing at the moment, in a bit of a traffic jam. We're on our way to a place called Tottenham. We're going to Sydenham's. And um, I've only ever been there once before, but um, it's one of those places where um, to get in, you've got to go through the customer car park, which means you've got to be quite villagent. Villagent? Vill you've got to be aware that um, there's going to be vans and cars around from customers. So, um, villagent. Vill I think it's a car, I don't know, whatever. So yeah, you just got to be careful. So that's where we're going next uh in other news my channel um i'm planning on doing something a little bit different uh, which hopefully you guys are going to like um i've just been and bought myself a new macbook air from amazon cost you know about 900 quid or something um and the plan is because it's got long battery life i should be able to get two videos edited and recorded on a single charge i'm hoping if not i can always charge up a day aggregate so i have actually asked if i can borrow their electricity and they said yes i can so um been bought myself a new computer macbook gonna be bringing it into work with me gonna be recording more videos and uploading more videos and the plan is two videos a week so that's what i'm gonna try and do i'm gonna try and get a video out on a thursday and a saturday um let me know if you think that's a good idea um i'm hoping you do so um yeah that's that's the plan um from well, I don't know when from. I mean, I haven't got the laptop yet. It's on the way. In fact, I think it's coming today, but um, I'm out tonight, so I won't be able to use it until the weekend. I'm not sure if this video that you're watching right now, I'm not sure if this is going to be recorded on my um, other laptop at home or whether it's going to be recorded on the MacBook. I'm not sure yet, so time will tell, but hopefully um, from next week or the week after, two videos a week. All right, so bear that in mind bear that in mind anyway we um i would say let's crack on but we're not really going anywhere are we not going anywhere at all bloody traffic bane of my life one thing i don't like about driving is not driving anyway let's move let's crack on see you in a bit right so we are just around the corner now we need to go to the roundabout do a 180 come back down and then turn left and uh, it's just on the right somewhere up here. But we can't go in this side uh, off the draw carriageway, so we've got to, like I said, turn around in half a mile's time. Today's um, is getting on a little bit, to be honest with you. Like I said, I've got, those, I've got three runs planned today, and um, yeah, time's, time's getting on. Indicating right. There we go, so Rushington Business Park, we need to turn around and come back down. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, time's getting on. I've got three runs to do today, apparently, and it's already gone nine o'clock, and I'm not even at the first place. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna. I should get back to base before 12 o'clock for the second run, but I probably won't get back for the third run until, like, nearly three o'clock. In which case, I probably won't get to wherever I need to be until about four o'clock, and that's the latest they take deliveries. So it will be actually touch and go as to whether or not I make the third delivery. We'll see. I need to hope I can get in and out quickly. I've only ever been to this place once before, and it wasn't quickly. I was there for quite a while. They were more interested in getting their own trucks loaded, which is understandable, you know. Those trucks make the money for them. Um, but it's annoying because I'm just there, then waiting. So we're doing a 4180. That lane is clear. We need to start indicating left. Uh, 
because we need to get into this left lane that we can't get in yet anyway until after the traffic lights although that yellow car behind me is not interested in that there's a car behind me that crossed the, uh, the yellow markings Obviously, I'm not allowed to do that. I, uh, I'm gonna get over now just so I can get my trailer off the road as I turn in. Oh, it looks quite busy down here. You can either be bullied or be the bully. Plus it's my right away anyway, so they can all get out of my way. I obviously I say thanks. I let him through, come on, let's go. Fantastic. Where's he going? Hopefully not in here. Because then I'll just cut in front of him, if that's the case. plan on going down to that white car okay he's told me to stop right so we need to find out what's going on and uh, be back in a bit right so we are now done uh, we've just got to go back now to get out and then we've got to do like a 180 <laughs> You're not going to be able to see anything on the dash cam yet because I'm not allowed to film on site, remember? So when we get close to the exit, I can turn the dash cam on. But for now, we've got to get out of here. Full lock. I mean, technically speaking, I'm in a public space, so I'm sh I should be allowed to film, surely. But I'm not going to... You can see me. I'm the focus here. Now, am I going to be able to get out of here? Should be able to. Okay, dash cam can go on now. Cheers, bud. Got to squeeze my trailer past this black car and trailer here. Piece of we, my lad, swear. Talking of swearing. Oh god, that's tight. Yeah, I used to swear all the time on my channel. Uh, and I mean, don't get me wrong, I swear. Everyone swears. But I did swear unnecessarily. Um, and there became a point where I realised that I have a lot of young viewers watch me. And I inspire young people to get their licences. And I get kids messaging me saying their dad does it. Like their dad drives and things like that. So uh, I, I decided to take the option to not swear. Or at least try not to swear in my videos. Be conscious about the fact that I shouldn't be swearing. Because I know that you, the young viewers watching this... Uh, I mean, you probably don't mind if I swear, to be honest with you, but I know your parents might. So uh, I am conscious about that, and that's why I, don't, I try not to swear. There are other vloggers out there who do swear, and uh, I honestly think they should do the same, and they shouldn't swear. Oh, 
Right, off we go. So we are now heading back to Southampton. Um, the next place we're going to is a place, uh, as long as it's still correct, is a place I've been to before. Uh, this week, actually, I went there Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Anyway, it's a proper posh place. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the f I, when I turned up, um, I went up to the, the first guy I saw and I said, hi, all right, mate, are you the guy I see to, uh, to sort this delivery out? He goes, uh, oh, if I am a guy, I feel more like an object today. So straight away, I was like, okay, well, you're in a good mood. He was, he was all right, actually. He was quite a nice bloke. I was chatting with him and he used to be a lorry driver as well. Um, I think he said he was class two. And uh, I got with him right. He was, he, I mean, don't get me wrong. He was quite posh sounding himself, but um, he didn't like his boss. He said his boss was very condescending and that, um, that basically, and like I said, I don't swear, but basically he was an asshole. <laughs> I only swear when it's necessary. Um, so I, yeah, so I, um, I made sure that when his boss spoke to me, that, um, you know, I wasn't going to get pushed over or anything like that. But yeah, to be honest, he, he was a bit of an asshole and he did speak to me like I was something he just stood in. And like, it was almost as if he was better than me and that he shouldn't really be speaking to me. And it got to a stage where he wouldn't speak directly to me. It was through the forklift driver. Uh, well, it was, it, was, it was like he was talking about me, but I wasn't there. It was things like, get the delivery driver to do this, get the delivery driver to do that. I, I mean, I was right next to him. He was talking to the forklift driver. Um, yeah, and yeah, he was, he was, he didn't seem like a very nice man, to be honest with you. Um, and then it got to the stage where, um, I mean, the reason I'm going there today, apparently, is because, yeah, well, it's because the stuff that we sent, or well, that I went there with earlier on in the week was the wrong stuff. They took six bags of it, but they sent the other eight bags back. So, um, as far as I'm aware, I'm going back today with the right stuff but um because it was the wrong stuff that we sent last time i uh, i went into the office to get the paperwork signed and i told him i had six bags taken off and i got eight bags remaining i'm taking eight bags back we went backwards and like forwards with this for about three four times and kept repeating myself and in the end he had to come out and double check because he didn't trust me he didn't believe me he didn't think i was capable of counting to eight because i'm just a lorry driver so he come out and had a count and he goes yeah eight bags going back I said, so I said, you know, I did say it was eight. You didn't need to come out and check, but okay, whatever. And then he tried telling me I had to get out of the out of the the barn, if you like. It was it was quite a tight place, not like not a lot of room. You got to do a 180 to turn around. But it was the way he was telling me. It was it was almost as if he thought I wouldn't have a clue how to do it. And he was telling me how to do it. He was saying, "Come here, let me show you. Let me show you." I said, "It's fine. I can do it. It's fine." I went to jump in the cab. He goes, "No, no. Let me show you. Come over here." So I went around, he goes, what you need to do is you need to come up to this line. I was like, oh, mate, I know. I know how to turn around. So it got to the stage where I said, I don't mean to be rude, but I have done tighter turns than this place. So I, I think I'll be okay. Thank you, but I, I should be all right. And lo and behold, I got out absolutely fine. So that's all good. I decided I'm going to go back uh, to Southampton around rather than through, um, just because it's quicker. So time is against me today. We've got to do two more runs. Uh, the plus side with this next run is that it might not be a full load, it might only be half a load, which means it'd be quicker getting on and quicker getting off at the other end, so we will see. We will see. And you will see me in a sec. Okie dokie, we're off. We're finally out of the uh, place where we just got loaded. I am going to squeeze past you, thank you. Finally out, we uh, we were in there quite a while, getting loaded. Um, not not because they were taking ages, but because um, there's a construction place opposite, and there was a tipper getting some stuff, and uh, he was blocking the exit, so we, no one can get out. If you indicated a little bit earlier, I would have let you go first. This road is a nightmare. There's nowhere I could go with that van in the way because I was already committed to going down the corner. Oh, there's a lot of smoke there. Just 
have a quick glance, make sure everything's okay. Obviously, if there, if there was a building on fire, then I'd stop and think the fire brigade, but it looks like a bonfire. I've got to sort that cupboard out, it's really annoying me, man. Keep making noises. Right, so yeah, we're on our way now to this posh place. Um, so when we get there, I'm, um, I'm going to have to stop recording anyway because I'm not allowed to record on site. Which I forgot about. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not allowed to record on site, so I can't record inside the place. Also, I imagine they really would get funny if it was found out, if they found out I was recording. So, um, I record up to the place when, just before I get there, and then uh, as I turn in, dash cam will come off. That's the plan. So yeah, we'll, uh, we're only half an hour away or so, so I'll see you in uh, a second for you, but half an hour for me. Right, so we are just around the corner now. I'm just going up a hill. How far away are we? About a mile and a half. Some really nice views around here. On the left, you can't see, but you have to take my word for it. There are some nice views. Yes, so we're not doing too bad for time now. It's, uh, it's uh, 20 to 12. Uh, and I'm not fully loaded. I'm about, I'm about three quarters loaded. So I'm hoping he's going to get it off in like half an hour. Because it's only a few bags. The rest of it's pallets. So a bit of luck. A bit of luck. We will be out. But, well, definitely before half past 12, I hope. But uh, quarter past 12 would be better. So we can try and get back to uh, day aggregates by one o'clock. That's the plan. That is what I'm trying to do, because originally I said, uh, well, originally I thought to myself it'd be more like three o'clock before I get back for my final run, or before I leave anyway for my final run. But now, hopefully, I'm going to leave by two o'clock. Back for one o'clock, loaded for two o'clock, wherever I need to be for three o'clock. That's the plan. But we will see, we will see. So just a mile down the road. Oh yeah, there's a uh, military signs there. It says warning: do not enter that field. It's, it's a firing range or something. So I don't want to be uh, driving into the field. I get blown up. Half a mile, and then we turn right. There's someone walking a dog there. And he's carrying a dead bird, so I'm assuming he's got uh, a gun. Must be hunting. Mind you, if I were to walk in that field, you can't really miss me, can you? Six foot three, 20 odd stone bloke wearing orange fluorescent and clothing. Right. So it's gonna turn right at the bottom of this hill. Hopefully we can go straight in. And hopefully there's no lorries in there. There was no lorries in there the other day. Uh, there's something in there, but I don't know if it's a lorry or not. It looks like a van. Can we get in? Yeah, we can get in, no problem. Right, so dash cam's gonna have to come off now. Wonder if he comes out, the guy in charge starts telling me where to park as well. So, see you guys in a bit. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Operating across the south delivering HGV class one and two courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. 
I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, so we've now tipped. Uh, once again, obviously, I can't show you dash cam just yet until we get out. I've got to do a, a relatively tight 180 degree turn. So I'm just lining up now. They're very uh, naive about the grass being ridden on, so I was just making sure I wasn't going to go on the grass. And this is the sort of place that would not appreciate a horn being beeped. That's how posh they are here. Very tight. To the stage where it's nearly jackknifed. That's how tight it is. Right, we're on our way. We're back, heading back now to Southampton to go grab our third load, which will be the third and final schedule run for today. But I'm hoping, and I mean hope, that I can get delivered, get back and get preloaded at the very least. If I don't get preloaded, it's gonna put tomorrow on a long day, assuming I got three runs tomorrow. see so uh, we were there longer than I expected so tight I was hoping to be back before one o'clock way before one o'clock looks like we're going to be there about one o'clock you can't come down here mate until I come out If I go now, my trailer's going to hit you. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. What, I was getting out of your way? Yeah, no, sorry, mate. Sorry. That's all right. Okay, yeah, if you go back. Right. That car driver should have stopped where that yellow car did. But he decided he was going to come and get in. But I hope, hopefully I wasn't rude. I was you know, letting him know that I'm going to hit him. <laughs> the trailer, trailer swings out a little bit, do you know what I mean? Right. Let's go back to Southampton. Let's get loaded for Juicens in Winchester, which is actually where we are now, Winchester, pretty much. Uh, let's see, two, three o'clock, yeah. So I think I'll get back to get preloaded, but only just but I definitely won't be able to get it delivered for the morning, but we will see. We will see. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, so we've just turned up to site now for our third delivery. So we're at Juicens now in Winchester. Um, I haven't got my mic on, so it might be a bit quiet. So, um, yeah, didn't vlog on the way here because I was charging you up. We're technically not on site, I'm on a public road, so I'm sure I can show you. So that's where we're delivering to next. Juicins. What we need to do is we need to go forward and then reverse in up to there where he is. So yes, I'm gonna go and let them know I'm here. And uh, then it's back to Southampton to get preloaded again for another run for the morning. Right, situation is we've just been tipped at Juicins. We are leaving now. There's one small small problem which i will explain to you in a sec once i get out see you later bud see you, mate. yeah the problem is is that apparently um there are two juicers in winchester and i went to the wrong one 
and uh, yeah, so that little clip I showed you earlier saying, oh, this is the place we're going to, turns out it's not the place we're going to. <laughs> um, it's literally just half a mile down the road. Fucking bump. Sorry for swearing. It's just half a mile down the road is where we went. If that. He's letting me go. He isn't. Thank you very much. Yeah, so we're coming out of here. And where I was, was uh, by that yellow sign on the left. So it's literally half a mile, if that, in distance away. And uh, yeah, I just went to the wrong, wrong juicings. The thing is though, I swear, I've only ever delivered to the place down there. Only ever delivered to that place. Three times, I'd say. And I swear the paperwork has said the same thing. Give or, well, nearly the same thing. Uh, and I think that I've delivered there when I'm supposed to deliver to the one I've just come out of now. And I just said to Matey Boy, I said, have you ever had stock go missing? Because I swear to God, I've delivered to that one down the road and they haven't said anything about it. I said, I genuinely didn't know that there was another store here. Was like because I didn't. I thought there was only the one store. So whenever I get told, "Are oh, you going to Juice and Winchester?" I know the store I'm going to. Do you know what I mean? I don't bother putting the sat nav. I just go there, drive in, give them the paperwork, or well, reverse it, in, give them the paperwork. They sign it, and off I go. But I'm pretty sure that they've taken the goods, knowing it's for the other store, and then co co coincident, consequent, co get my words out. Then haven't basically paid for the product because the other store's paid for it. So I'm pretty sure that's happened. But I also imagine it's happened the other way around as well, where they've taken deliveries for the other store. Anyway, doesn't matter now. I went to the right store in the end. We're unloaded. That's three deliveries done for the day. We are now heading back to Southampton to preload for the morning. I also know what I'm doing as well already. I've got three runs planned for the tomorrow. First one, tomorrow morning, is the same, I had, the same one as I had this morning, which was uh, Sydenham's in... Dutton, is it? Dutton? Ditton? Something like that. And then I've got to go to Millbrook, which is also in Southampton. So it's two local Southampton runs. And then finishing off in an Andover. Don't know whether it's Travis Perkins or Build Base yet. It could be either. But, um, yeah. So tomorrow we've got Sydenham's in the morning. Then we've got Selco in Millbrook. And then we'll have either Travis Perkins or Build Base in Andover so we are going to be going to go to, we're going to go to three different places that's for sure and I also plan on vlogging as well it won't be included in this vlog but it will be available soon but yeah that's uh, today's over and done with we just need to head back now get preloaded and then park up alrighty that's a wrap we've uh, we're done been tipped we've just uh, come around the corner from the aggregates and parked up there's nothing for you to see it's actually held up uh, because uh a foreigner lorry drove in towards the aggregates, coming the wrong turn in, so then they had to reverse back out and there's nowhere for him to turn around in where we were. So, uh, yes. So we're all done now. That was three runs done. We've got three runs for tomorrow. Tottenham, Millbrook, and Dover. So that's it. We're all done. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe and uh, I will see you soon. This video is coming out over the weekend. The next one should be out Thursday. So uh, keep an eye on it. See you soon. Bye-bye.